So I just got to the Outer Banks last night, uh, got here at 1 a.m., super tired and exhausted. It's actually a really funny story, and I wouldn't recommend you do it, but my flight just kept getting delayed and delayed that me and this random guy I was sitting on the plane with were going to the same final destination. So we actually just rented a car and drove three hours to the final destination, just riding three hours with a complete stranger, no worries. But let's see like what I actually brought on this trip because we're gonna be out shooting seascapes, we're gonna be doing some different stuff like with lighthouses and um, getting into some difficult lighting situations. So let's see what I brought in the bag. So first off, what I have in the bag is the Sony 7800F4. I'm gonna be using that for some long telephoto range stuff. Uh, backup, hard drive. Then I have what I'm testing right now is the Fujifilm X-T30. Gonna be testing this camera out. I have connected on it an 18 to 55 uh, lens that they sent me as well. So going to be testing that microphone. Then I have the Fuji 50 to 140. Going to be testing this as well. I'm pretty pumped about this because it's a weather sealed uh, lens and we have some rain going on this week. And then deep down in here, I have the Fuji 35 Prime F2. Gonna try to get some night photography with this guy this week. And then here's my camera setup, the Sony A6000 with the Rokinon 12 millimeter F2 connected. So gonna be using all this gear this week. Should be a good week training today. So I'm gonna go out scouting a few new locations. So let's hit it. I was actually really glad that it was partly cloudy skies with some rain in the forecast because it gave me a chance to get out and scout the Outer Banks, somewhere I'd never been before but always wanted to go because of the lighthouses, because of the seascapes that you see in photographs. And I quit scouting and headed to a local state park that I passed and heard some really good things about. I'd been out to some sand dunes in the past to take photos, but I had never been to any on the East Coast. So I wanted to get out to this state park in particular and look for some really cool foregrounds as the wind was blowing and blowing that sand all over the place. So I'm out here in Jockey's Ridge State Park in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And I gotta be honest with you, one of the things that I love to be when I'm filming vlogs for landscape photography is miserable. And it's pretty miserable out here, I have to be honest. And one reason why I like that is because it gives you the feel of how landscape photography actually is. I'm trying to cut down on wind noise as much as possible, but it's so windy out here. Sand is everywhere. It's hot. I'm sweaty. I have sunscreen on that's just dripping right off of me. Sand is sticking everywhere. It's getting all in the nooks and crannies that you can think of. But these are epic conditions because these, the worst conditions, are the best photos that you can get. So I'm out here searching for a good composition that I want in these sand dunes. And one of the things that you need to think about whenever you're going out and shooting sand dunes or sand or even snow for that matter is walking around and finding composition. So I found this composition a little bit earlier, but you want to approach from the direction that you're going to be shooting so that you don't get footprints into the composition and into the frame that you're gonna be shooting. You kinda of wanna approach from the back, the sides, and then work your way around the composition. The other thing you wanna do is watch for the trail markers. So trail markers on this trail that I'm at right now are lined up all the way back, back to the head of the trail because in sand dunes, what tends to happen, especially if you're out there long enough and you're looking for a lot of compositions, is you get lost because everything looks the same. You're winding around the sand dunes trying to find a good comp and you just lose track. So you always wanna be like looking behind you, peering behind you, trying to find the trailheads that are marked all the way back 
on the trail. So keep that in mind. You also may want to geotag your car if you're going out and shooting those places as well. While checking the trailhead, I made sure I wasn't lost or anything like that, and I set out to find a really interesting composition that I could use these sand ridges with and create a really compelling foreground to shoot a great photo. So I'm trying to work really fast here because it looks like the sunset might get blocked. I'm trying to get any possible light that I can, maybe even just a little bit of golden light. And I'm trying to use this like back and side light on these ridges over here. If you can see, there are these ridges that I want to capture as my foreground, getting really close with the 12 millimeter ultra wide angle lens and shooting quick enough that these sea grasses and sand grasses aren't really creating a lot of blurred motion from their movement. So I'm just trying to get really low and use these ridges, just catch a little bit of golden light on those to bring you into the frame and kind of swirl around on the right side of the frame. But I'm really nervous. It looks like storms are starting to roll in and it may block this sunset. So I just have to get what I can get at this point and like hope that maybe sunset is good. Maybe I waited out. I'm not really sure, but right now it, it's not looking very hopeful, but this photo could be really cool. I think the foreground really makes this photograph what it is. And then also the sun star in the background, but I was also able to scout around and use the Fuji film XT30 for shots like this with the 35 millimeter lens and then play around with some other compositions like this one, taking a vertical shot. And I even got into some panorama shots of the sand dunes as the sun continued to set over the horizon. See this? Sometimes this happens when you go out and you sit for three hours waiting on the sunset a storm rolls in and it completely ruins sunset. This is gonna completely block out what would otherwise be an amazing composition for a sunset. I am happy with the photo that I got of the little golden hour like sunburst that we use for these leading lines and just trying to make it happen. But overall, this is the end of sunset. This is the best it's gonna be. I'm glad I got the shot. I wish the sunset was a little bit better, but I'm gonna pack it in tonight, stop getting harassed by the wind. I will say, testing out this little Fuji X-T30 has been really good. This is a spunky little camera to use, but I'm gonna download some images, edit those, and wake up, get back at it tomorrow. So until tomorrow, we'll keep shooting. Call me stubborn, but I just couldn't let this location get the best of me. I love this photo and I did literally dive back at my camera just in time to hit the shutter like a slow motion action movie to capture this shot with this amazing sun star peeking out of the clouds and the perfect foreground of those highlights on the sand ridges.